Hello, everybody. Good evening. Really? Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Welcome. How's it going, guys? How's everything? Oh, fine, teacher. How was your week? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Yes. How was your weekend, by the way? How was your week? Uh, it was quite. Um, yeah. I I I am so so tired teacher because yeah. I have a I lot know. of work. Yeah, today right today is is, is hard right it's tough on the yeah. week because I don't know why but it happens it happens it's hard to start the week on days we feel lazy. Uh, we are busy, as you said. We have to do a lot of things. Yeah, I understand you. It happens. It happens. But thank you. Thank you for being. Thank God you're fine. Everybody is so well. Yes. Thank you, Mauricio. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. What about Roxana? Hi, Roxana. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Um, are you good? I'm, I'm pretty good. Excellent. And How was your weekend, Sana? I was great. Yeah? Yes. Do you relax during the weekend? Yes, I relax. <laughs> nice, nice. Very good. That's excellent. Everything is okay. Thank you for asking. Yes, I'm doing well. You know, as Marissa said, um, we tend to be busy on Mondays. We do a lot of things. It's because we start the week, I think, and it's hard to 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 get engaged in in the things that you do, right? So it happens. Yes. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your time. We'll start, and well, I need to know. Roxana has finished with the platform. What about Melissa? Have you finished with the platform? Are you about to finish? No, teacher. I. I I'm going to to final test by final oh. test. Sorry. Oh, okay. So only that is missing for you. Yes, it's true. And nice. Later, I am going to send the document. Sure, sure. Of course, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, we have time. We have time. Remember that we finish on on Thursday, and we have to. You know, we have to complete the platform until next Wednesday. Yes, actually. Well, um, any questions that you have for to start? No, teacher, for the, for the moment, no. Excellent. Okay, we're going to begin. We're going to begin. Let me display the, the presentation for you. Oh, by the way, to continue, I will say right now, but I will repeat it later. Related to what you told me last week, last Thursday, with your certificate and the date, I send it to one authority from Inglés Comparativo, and I explain what you told me last Thursday, what Luciana told me during the, the weekend, I think, or on Friday, last Friday. I sent it to, to them and they told me that, yeah, there is a problem in there. They are going to fix it, don't worry. Uh, she, well, they already said that problem to, you know, the people that it, it is in part of those specific, you know, uh, things. And they are going to solve the problem, don't worry. They're going to fix the, the date because yeah, there is a mistake in there, don't worry, All right? Yeah. Okay, we're going to begin. We're going to begin with session. I hope your classmates to join us. All right. This is what we have for today. We will continue practicing with the first conditional. We're going to finish with uh, uh, week number four. Sorry. We're going to finish today. And we will continue practicing with the first condition because this is an extend topic. And topic. And we need to practice more, right? 
That's why I have the second part for the first generation. We'll have some, you know, some explanations. We can clarify some doubts. We'll have more examples. And we will ask questions. Questions. It's really important to ask questions by using the first generation. So we we'll use it today and we will ask questions for the first generation. Right? Today is Monday, March 22nd, 2021. Session number 13, moving on. Well, in the previous session, we were saying that we use the first conditional for what? What do you remember? When, when do we use the first conditional? Um, I don't remember the exact. <laughs> Possible situation and I don't know. I don't, I don't remember exact. What about when we say yeah, we use will? Exactly. Exactly. That is the result. I have a, a condition, condition, and with that condition, we get a result. Excellent. Excellent. Those are possibilities in. In the present or in the future, right? Yes. The yes, the possibility is in the present. Yeah. And we have the result. Is the result is in the future. In the future, exactly. Very good. You did? Hi. Welcome. Hello, Mr. How are you? Good. And you? Everything is okay. Thank you for asking. How was your weekend, you did? You relax. Yes. Nice. I am very sad. Really? Why? Because my song this week um, se va del país. No sé cómo oh. decirlo. Oh, okay. My, my song is going to travel to another country or my son is going to come back to his Definition or the place where he lives. Yes. Okay. Yes, in a way. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that that is a hard feeling, right? So we want to to stay with with our, in this case, uh, beloved people, and we have to spend that. We have to spend a lot of time with them. Well, I hope I hope you could see him later. Right? Uh, I understand how you feel, but thank God he, he is okay, right? He's safe. Very good. Hey, uh, thank you, Judy, for being here. I appreciate your time. We'll continue with this session, session number 13. I was telling your classmates that we will have first conditional, we will have a second part in this case. And we will clarify some doubts in case we, we have we had them last week, last Thursday, because we started with this topic, right? By the way, before we continue, okay, could you or have you finished with the platform? I think you told me yes, right? Last week. Have you finished the platform? Did it? Yes, teacher. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I remember that you told me right last week. Tell me. Very good. Very good. Thank what? you. You told me that last week, right? That you finished. I remember yes, that you last told me. Week. Yeah, yes, good. yes. Thanks. Thanks. Welcome, Gabriela. Thank you for joining. Good night, teacher. Hi. How are you, Gabriela? Very good, teacher. Yeah. Did you enjoy your weekend? Only work. Oh, really? Only. Do you yes. work? Two yes. days? Saturday and Sunday? Yes, wow. today. Wow. Okay, that is... I don't have... I don't have... Time for rest, for resting. Yes. Oh, okay, I see. Well, anyways, we have to work, right? We have to work hard. Anyways. 
Well, I hope we can we can relax vacation. It's almost it's ready. And yeah, we have to take advantage of that. We have we deserve it. We deserve it. Thank you for being here, Gabriela. We are beginning. By the way, Gabriela, have you finished with the platform? Yes, teacher, last yeah, right. week I finished. It's all right. yes. yeah, very good. Yes. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay, let's continue. This is the topic for today. As I said before, we will continue with the first conditional because this is a, an extended topic. I have a lot of things to do with this topic. We we'll practice today. And I was asking you previously, what do you remember about the first conditional? When do we use it? When I said that we use it for possibilities, the present and future, colloquially, and we have a condition and a result. What else do you remember, guys? What else? And you use in the, in the conditional sentence, you use if? Exactly. If plus? Plus. Uh, Subject, um, the verb in may, may bear, or in simple present, exactly. and complement. Excellent, yeah. We have a, a something that accompanies, right? The sentence, in this case, the complement. Um, good. Well, and as you said, we use a simple present, right? That is a simple present tense in the if clause. And what is that? Simple present continues too. Person continues, yes, we can use it. We can use it too. Good. All right. Uh, what is that? We said the if class. What is that? Is that the is that the result or the condition? Uh, it's a condition. It's a condition, right? Yeah, because we use if. If it's a subordinate in conjunction or a connector as some people say, say, that is a connector. And that subordinating conjunction indicates a condition. That's why it is a if clause, the if clause. Because we have if, as we said, Sana, and we have a, a sentence, a clause. And the clause contains the subject, the main verb, which is in base form, and a complement. That is a simple present. Or we, in some cases, we can use the present continuous, yeah. Very nice. What about the other class? Um, it's called the the uh, main main class, and you use uh, in the future. You use will or my or will cool, um, and the. The structure is uh, the subject, uh, the auxiliary, will or my, and the bear in the base form, and complement plus complement. Exactly. Very good. Yeah, that is the way we structure the main clause. The main clause, as you kind of said, we use uh, auxiliaries, auxiliaries, or we use model, model verbs. When we refer to auxiliaries, it's because we use will or want. Will, permanently, and will not or want is for name, right? If we can use my or may. My, may, say could, would, those are model, models, one of verbs. We use them because they express possibilities. When we express possibilities, it's because we're talking about future. future. Future possibility. That's why we use my, may, could, etc. Most of the times we use my, may. My, may because they are in the, they have the same level of certainty, right? They, they express possibility. They have 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Something can be true, something can be false, let's say. Something can be, can be done or something can't. Something can't be done. All right? Absolutely. Nice. As you said, yeah, we use the first conditional to talk about possibilities, present or in the future. 
then we have the two parts as so established before. If clause, clause contains um, a simple present, and the main clause, that one contains the future, the future simple, or will in this case. Okay. And well, the if clause, as I'm trying to say, that contains a subject, well, if first, if, plus the subject, plus the very base for, and at the end we have a company. So this, this means that we have a simple present. In the main clause, we have, as Sana said, we have the subject as will or want. Those are the auxiliaries for the future simple. And we can use models. I may, could in some cases, and would express possibilities in the future. And the, the very base form there and the complement. Okay. Any questions? Questions, doubts, comments that you have? No, no questions. Nice. No, okay. okay, we have Gisela in the meeting. Hi, Gisela. Welcome. Good evening. Nice to have you in the meeting. How are you, Gisela? Fine, thank you. Nice. Sorry to be late. Okay. Hey, how was your weekend, Sela? Uh, really working, yeah. but it was really good. Did you rest? Did you rest? Uh, yes, yes, kind of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I said before, I think it's tough, right? It's tough because we have a lot of, a lot of things to do, responsibilities, and some of us have to work on weekends, anyways. So that's what we have to do. Have to work hard, and thank God we are fine and safe. Thank you for joining. Ella. We are discussing right now the, the first conditional. This is the second part because we were talking about last Thursday about the first conditional. We we're saying the uses, uh, the two classes that we use for the first conditional, some examples. We will complete some exercises, etc. We continue today with the second part because I have some practice for you. And well, we were saying that we use the first condition to talk about possibilities in the present or in the future. And the first conditional contains two parts: the if clause and the main clause. The if clause, so that is the condition. That is the condition, and that if clause is a structure in this way. If the if if is a, a subordinating conjunction or the connector plus subject, the very base form, and the complement. So I guess we use the present simple or the simple present. For the main clause, that is the second clause, the main clause, we have the result. That is the result. We have a condition and a result. In the main clause, we have the subject plus, let's get to this will, which is auxiliary, will or want. One is for negative form, plus a very base form in a complement. Something that we remarked in the previous class was that we use models. We use my, may, could, or would. So we use those models. I, in the main clause. I may and use could. Most of the times we use my and may. My and may because they express possibilities. And those possibilities can be in the future. Okay, moving on to the following part. Like I said before, we have the if clause that expresses the condition. And we have the main clause that expresses the result. The result is in the future. For example, if you say, if it rains, that is a condition. If, if it rains, what will happen? I will stay at home. That would be one possibility. If it rains, I'll stay at home. You can have different possibilities. You know, probably you are on your way. You are on your way. So what does it mean? If it rains, 
I will. It went. That's another possibility. So you are getting, you are getting home. It is raining. It is raining. If it is raining, I will get wet. Okay. If it rains, I will get wet. The condition is if it rains, what will happen? I will get wet. Or I will stay at home because I am in my home. I am in my house. So if I see that it is raining or it rains. I will stay home. I won't go out. That is another possibility. That is another example. Another way to say, I will stay home. Okay? If you want, go out. Okay? And you can vary. You can vary the way you can say the things. Or I do. Okay? Again, remember condition that is the if clause. The result that is uh, the main class with the future, right? Questions? Okay. Mm. No questions. No? Nice. Everything is good. Thank you. What about the rest? No. Tana, you did? It's okay, teacher. Thank you. Not sure, any question? Like every situation has a conditional to do. Yes, yes. For every situation, you have a, a condition. You have a condition and a result. Okay. Yeah, for example, if you say, if I am late, if I am late for work, I will all. My supervisor or my manager, I don't know my boss, and explain my situation. My situation. But the condition, what is the condition? If I am late at work, I don't know. I woke up late. I woke up late or my, I don't know, my alarm clock didn't ring, etc. So we have different, different situations, different factors that can can affect or, you know, on a daily basis, etc. In this case, if I am late for work, we call my supervisor and explain my situation. Or another possibility, if I am late, or I will, I don't know, I will, will work extra hours over because I want to, you know, to, to recover those hours that I wasted. Okay, very good. Okay, moving on. Here we have more examples. Okay. But we have the if class, remember, and the result class. Something that we want to continue, something that I explained in the previous session, and I will repeat it. The classmates are familiar with that, but I know that I hope you could watch the video, Sela. But in case, don't worry, I will explain this one more time. Uh, we have these ways. Ways. For example, I will use it. Yeah, we have this way, this way. If it rains, I will get wet. We have the condition first, we have the plus first, and then we have the, the main clause. We can change the positions, we can change the position of the clauses. And we can start with the result clause or the main clause and say, I, I will get wet. If it rains, and it's the same, we don't alter the meaning, we keep it, we keep it. Because we just change 
the classes. In this case, it's the same. We have the same meaning. I will get wet if it rains. In this case, we'll use comma. We'll use it. We'll include it because if is in the middle. In this case, we use comma. Yes. Because we begin with the main the if class, sorry. Separate the first idea and then we have the main. But this one no. It doesn't apply. Okay. We can make those combinations. We can make those changes. Okay. Well, let's see some examples. If it's free, this weekend, we will go with us. If she is free this weekend, she will go out with us. Other one, if Brian pays me today, I will buy something for Amy's birthday. Next, okay, Alexander, can you come with next? If he adopts the pants. His, his father will buy him a new skateboard. Yes. Very good, thank you. Next. Lisa, I have enough time. If I have enough time, I will write a letter for my cousin. Yeah. Okay. The last one, if she joins, I will listen to you. If she joins the context, she will have a seven five percent percent change of winning. Yeah. Good. Uh, you can see we have possibilities. Possibilities. Okay, we have the condition one more time and we have the result. For example, if I focus on the first item, it says if she's free this weekend, she will go, she will go with us. In a sign, we can say she will go with us. If he is free this weekend. So we make the changes. We make, we change position. And it's correct. Well, some other possibilities, remember with the models and before, you can use that in the main clause instead of will. You can. For example, if I say if it rains, one more time, let's go with that example. If it rains, I might, um, I might not go to the concert. If it rains, I might not go to the concert. This is a negative form, the models. models. If it rains, I might not go to the concert. We can change it, we can say may, and this is the same, same. If it rains, I may not go to the concert, okay? And it's the same, we express possibilities, right? Any questions? No questions. Yeah, it's clear. Thank you. Is everything clear, Yes, yeah, everything is clear. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, moving on. We're going to practice. Now you're going to help me. We're going to practice with the following questions. I have some questions in here. This is where we ask more possibilities in the future. We use the, condi the first conditional and we use it in questions. For example, what will you do if you can't sleep tonight? That's a good question. What will you do if you can't sleep at night? night? What do you think? In my case, in my case, I will Watch videos, bro. Or I will listen to music. That helps, right? That helps when you listen to music. So you can sleep. 
What do you do? What do you do if you can't sleep tonight? What about you? What is it? I will, I will, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I will drink a, a glass of milk. Yeah. Hot milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Could be. Could be. Okay. What about Mauricio? What will you do if you can't sleep tonight? I will study more English. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Just because I, I need more practice. Yeah. Yeah. That's really nice. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Thank you. Whatever. You're welcome. What about Gabriela? What will you do if you can't sleep? Eh. You. You know this way. You will be wake. I wake up morning. You will sorry. You will wake up morning. Oh, I think you want to say you will wake up late, right? Late. Late. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But remember, uh, Gorilla, because in this case, the questions are uh, more personal. So you have to respond like, I will wake up late. You have to give me your information. What do you do if you okay. can't sleep tonight? And then I will wake up late. I will wake up late. Yes. Okay, very good, thank you, Gabriela. Let's go with the second question. If your TV breaks next week, what will you do? Me. Yeah? I will listen to podcasts. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice possibility. Of course. Well, thank you, Edith. Yeah, Judy, can you ask that question, the second question, to another person? The second. Yes. To someone. Like a classmate, please. And ask the second question to that person. Okay. Uh, if your TV breaks next week, what? Well, what will you do, uh, Mauricio? Okay. Uh, I will, I will pray because I, uh, I don't, I don't have, I don't have money. For a hard I mean that's that's too bad, right? I mean, have to. That's why we have to take care of things, right? Because. It is hard to buy yeah. something, right? Okay. Yes. Very, very good. Can you select somebody else? Yes. Uh, someone and ask question number three. Okay, teacher. How will you feel if you fail your next test, Gisela? Okay. Mm. I will be sad because I was studying. Yeah, that is, that is the, the worst thing, right? That like you study hard and, and if you get a bad score or you fail the exam or test, of course you will be sad. Or you will feel sad. Very good. Thank you. Michela, select somebody else. And I have to read the third or the first? The third question, the third question. The third. Okay. How will you feel if you fail your next test? And Gabriela? Um, I will be 
feel sad because I study a lot. Okay, yeah, nice. But you can say, Gabriela, you can say, I will be sad, or you can say, I will feel sad. But the two options are correct. You can choose one of them. You can say, I will be Teacher, sad. I have a question. Okay. We can mm -hmm. use a, I will disappoint. Yes, you can mm -hmm. use it. I will feel disappointed. Or you can say, I will be disappointed. Okay. Correct. <clears throat> Yes. Very good. Thank you. Okay, Gabriel, please, to someone and ask question number four. If you get lots of power, how do you feel? If you get lots of power, you will, you, how will you feel, um, Roxana? Okay. Oh. I feel uh, bad because I don't like to, to do homework, <laughs> a lot of homework. Okay, well, yeah, it's a little bit. Very nice. Okay, let's go next. Roxana, let's go with question number five. Select somebody. What will you, what will your teacher say if you are late tomorrow or oh, Mauricio? Uh, I will, I will say, sorry, teacher, for being late every day. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, that is an that is a nice response. That is a nice response. Just be careful with the question because the question says, "What will your teacher say if you're late?" Like, well, I guess you have to say, okay, "My okay. teacher will be say, why you you arrive." school or the classroom on this time. Fine. Okay, teacher. But teacher, I have a question Sorry. about that answer. Can I tell it uh, to respond to that equation? He will say. Yeah, you can. At the beginning. You, you can because uh, you know that in the question, we have the, the specific person the teacher, my boss, my supervisor, and you can say he, just he, because we know that we're talking about your, my teacher, supervisor, and the boss. You can. Okay. Yeah. yeah, in that case, you can remember my teacher will, my teacher, my teacher, sorry, will say, why you are late? That is a question. Why are you late? Okay. That is why. Be careful. Only be careful. Okay, teacher, I, I had understand, understand, understood yeah, understood. The, understood, uh, the question, but uh, I understood it right. Okay, hey, it's okay, don't worry. Thank you. Let's go next, number six. Yes, uh, if you, if you feel bored next Saturday, what will you do, Gabriel. Uh, I will go to the cinema. Yeah, that is a good option, right? Good. Yeah. Gabriela, thank you, Melissa. Okay, let's go on the other side. Let's go on the other side. We have a lot of questions we can take. Let's go on this side. If you want to relax after class, what will you want to be? If you want to relax after class, what would you want? What will you watch? Sorry, on TV. I won't watch anything. Oh, okay. You don't I, like it? I will sleep. Of course, of course. I think that is the best, the best scene. Okay, let's change the question. Let's change the question because, yeah, I think after classes or after work, some people don't want to watch TV, right? 
let's say if you want to relax after class or after work, what would you do? Um, As Sana said, I will sleep, right? I will sleep. Yes. Okay, that is one option. That is one option. I, I will watch uh, comic movies. Oh, okay. Okay, I will watch a comic movie, right? I will watch my favorite cartoon. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I'll watch a series on Netflix. Yes. That is trending, right? That is trending. We watch a series on Netflix. Yeah. Yes. Good. Nice. Thank you. Let's go next. Next question. And let's see. Alisa, can you ask? Next question, well, let's say number two. What medicine will take, would you take, sorry, you did? What medicine will you take if you catch a call next week, you did? I will. Call is the same uh, when you say flu. It's call. Same. Call. Right? Call. You ask me for call, right? Yes. Call is is when you have a flu. Yes, when you have flu. A flu. You have, for example, congestion in your nose. You have a sore throat pain. Um, you have fever, it depends, it depends on the flu. That is flu or cold. Okay, I will take Panadol. Yeah, Panadol, Sudagrip. Yes. <laughs> Palagrip. Yeah, good, thank you. Next, you did, can you ask next question? If we sorry, if you decide to eat out, if you decide to eat out, which restaurant will you go? You Good. go to, uh, Roxana. Uh, I will go to a Chinese restaurant because Chinese mm -hmm. food is my favorite food. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay. Me too. Okay. <laughs> we are uh, going to go to a restaurant. Okay, and you're going yeah. to buy us, right? You're going to buy it. Good. Nice. I accept it. I agree with you. <laughs> okay. Super breed Chinese restaurant. Do you have a favorite one? What? Do you have a favorite Chinese restaurant? Oh, yeah, but I don't remember the name. It's in, in San Salvador. It's near to the uh the bus station but my i i went to my sister and she uh she uh me i don't know <laughs> she, she took me she, she took, took me, me to the place or to the yes. restaurant but i don't remember the name <laughs> oh okay <laughs> but is it yeah. Chinese? i i think i yeah. don't remember exactly <laughs> but it's very the food is, yeah. is delicious. It's delicious. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. I can say, I can say she lead me. She? She lead me? She lead me. She lead we tend to, we tend to um, it's not common to, to use that one, lead me. We tend to say, take me. Take me, uh, for example, my sister takes me to the restaurant. Sister takes me to the restaurant. This is uh, the one that we use, takes me, or in some cases when we, we refer to cars driving, we say, my sister drives me, drives me to work. That is because, you know, your sister has a car and she drives and she drives you. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. You, you can say lift, lift, lift me, lift me, but it is much better it's if you use take me. Yeah, it's not common. Yeah. And okay, I, let's. And I yeah. don't like the chi China wok. I don't like it. Brilliant. But because it's the, the flavor for the the China wok. Well, what is the name? Chinese food? Chinese food? Yes. But the restaurant. China oh, China wok. China wok. I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think. That's I think, yeah. Chinese food. I don't like it. Just, as you said, the flavor, right? Some. Some food is not, I'm, I'm sorry, some food are not like, um, I would say, like, I don't know. I mean, the, the flavor the flavor is not good, right? They, they have some yeah. specific meals. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. Thank you for sharing, Roxana. Let's go next. Next question. We're about to finish. When when will you go? Sorry, when will you go to bed? If you're really tired tonight. When? When will you go to bed? If you're really tired tonight. I will go to bed at 10 30 p.m. When will you go to bed if you're really tired tonight? I can say I will go to bed after finish the class. Yes, you can because you're specifying the time after finishing the class. Good. What's that? Yes, I, I said I, I will go to bed at 10. Uh, uh, yes, 10. Is 10? Yes. 10. Uh, probably 10, 20. Okay, we're good. Perfect. Okay, let's go with the last questions. Let's go with next. Let me see. I will listen to Mauricio. If you don't eat breakfast tomorrow, will you feel hungry? Of course, yes, I think. Yes, I, I will feel. Yes, I will. Okay. In that case, we respond. I we respond feel like a tiger. You know. <laughs> yeah, definitely. In that, in those cases, yes, as Mauricio said, yes, I will. We answer on those, those ways because that's the best question. So, in breakfast tomorrow, will you be happy? Would you feel hungry? Yes, I will. Yes, I okay. will. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let's go with, I'm sorry, what is it? No, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go next. Let's go next. Let me see, what is it? Select another question on the last ones. Ask it to somebody. Will you ask or will you, you ask our teacher for help if you, if you have a question, Roxanne? Oh, wait. <laughs> Will you ask our teacher if you have a question? Yes, I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> will you ask, will you ask your teacher for help in case or if you have a question? Yes, yes, I will. Yes, awesome. good. Thank you. Yes, I will ask, or yes, I will only. In this case, it's like when you use simple future, when we use will, do you go to the party tonight? Yes, I will, for another one. It's the same. Okay. Yeah, yes, I will. Good. And the last one, Roxana, please, can you ask next question to Gabriela? Okay, Gabriela, if you have some free time on Saturday, Will you study more? Yes, I will. Excellent, good, absolutely. Well, any questions that you have related to the way we ask questions? Let 
everything for right. me it's everything, everything is clear no clear. questions yeah no question right no teacher. Yeah. okay moving on listen we're going to practice with the following exercises i will provide you a, a website a link and you have to access to it and work on the following exercise okay Access to the link provided, look at the sentences and complete them with the correct form of the first condition. Let me show you. Let me give you one example because I have it here, the website. This is the website. I will provide you the link, the website. This is one of the websites that I share with one of your classmates. You know, you can practice, you can work on this website with some exercises. You can work and improve your grammar, etc. This is one, okay? So what you have to do, we have 10 exercises. You have to use the first conditional, read the statements, read the statements, and you have to type in this box, and you have to type the answer. The verbs are in parentheses, the verbs, you have to use them and construct the first conditional set. For example, in the first one, if you do, and the bird, the first verse is dive into this river, you or you hurt yourself. What you have to do is simple. You have to write to the bird. You dive into the river, you will hurt. Okay? And you have to continue number two, number three, until number 10. And once you finish, you have to click on the check button and you will see the score that you get, right? What I want to do next, please, please, you have to send a screenshot in, in this, in the chat, please. Send us a screenshot in the chat, or you can send them through the group okay, in WhatsApp. Uh, you can send it to me via my personal WhatsApp. It's okay, right? We're going to start working on these exercises. I will provide you the link in the chat. Please, everybody, access to the chat and start working on the exam. Okay. Questions? And we are going to send you. Okay. Yeah, send me a screenshot once you finish. Send me a screenshot. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. I will give you some time. This is a practice for you. Ready for now? I'm sorry? Ready I'm sorry? For, for at the moment? Yeah, let's, let's start I right now. It's a homework or is a... We're going to start right we're, now. We're going to, okay, we're going to start right now. We have a couple of minutes because yeah, we're about to finish. Let's start, and if you don't finish, don't worry, you can continue at the end of the session. And you, you can send it to me, okay? It's okay. Yeah, you can start right now. You can start. If you don't finish, don't worry. We have a couple of minutes. We have a couple of minutes.
Okay, listen, we have two more minutes. If you haven't finished, don't worry. Continue working on these exercises. Practice for you. First conditional. Once you finish, remember, send me a screenshot. You can send it to me via my personal WhatsApp, or you can do it in the group. Send it to me. And once you finish, if you have, if you're about to finish, do it. You can send it to me. If not, continue working, and you can send it to me as soon as you can. Okay? Don't worry. We're, about, we're missing just one minute. I don't know if you have questions. Questions, doubts, comments that you have? No, teacher. Good. Do you, yeah. do you send, send me the link of the sideway, side web? The link in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. I can do it. I will send it to you via WhatsApp too, okay? Okay, okay. thanks. You don't have access to the chatting here. I send it right here. So I think everybody could add it, right? If not, don't worry. I will send it through WhatsApp, okay? And well, uh, something that I want to remind you, it's about the platform. If you have finished, don't worry, it's okay. If you haven't finished, if you're about to finish, all right? Remember that you have until Wednesday. Until Wednesday, in order to finish with um, Okay. Well, first of all, questions? No question. No teacher. Yeah. Okay, listen, remember, don't forget to send me the screenshot of these exercises. You can send it through the WhatsApp group or you can send it to my personal website. Right. I will send it. I will send the link to the WhatsApp group in case you couldn't access to the chat in here. Don't worry. And let's practice. Let's practice a lot. All right. Teacher, well, I have a question. Oh, uh, I I finish uh, the to answer in the link that you sent, but at the end I have three three answers wrong. So I send you the screenshot with this, or I have to complete and put it all, all right. Okay, it's okay. You, you can send you can send me that screenshot, but if you want to do it again, you want to try again, let's do it. Don't worry. Let's do it again and send it to me. If you want to try and get all the, the, the sentences correctly, all the sentences correct, sorry, you can do it. It's okay. Okay. Don't worry. Practice, practice. The idea is to practice. Questions? No. Thanks. Okay, remember, send me the screenshot as soon as you can. Okay? And we will continue tomorrow. Well, we're going to finish right here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I appreciate your time. I know that you, you have to do a lot of things you have to do a lot of things, and I appreciate your time. And we'll continue tomorrow. Thanks again for being here. Have a good night. Stay safe. Take care. And many blessings to you and your family. Bye, everybody. Oh, but I have a, a question. A question Sorry, about sir. the homework. And you use the will or you use whatever model? Well, in this case, we have to use will. You, you use will, right? Let me show you. Let me show you why. After you use will. Because in here, in the instruction set, put the verse in brackets in the caps. Or a conditional sentence by one, except in the case, first conditional, only use the will feature. The will. will. Okay. Yes. I make classes. Good. Okay. So oh, if you have questions, remember you can let me know. And of course, I'm going to help. Well, this is all for today, guys. Thank you one more time for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. I bless you. Goodbye. See good you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Sure.